Welcome back to Mac Gourmet Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make roast fish in your oven. Inside of my fish, I'll be stuffing it with kolalu and okra. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also click that notification bell. The ingredients for this roast fish will be down in the description box so you guys can just go there and check it out. Javi Beats exclusive. Here's my ingredients that I'm using to prepare that roast fish. I got some diced okra, some diced carrot, I got some diced bell pepper, I got some chopped scotch bunny pepper, I got some chopped onion. Also, I'm using half teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of all purpose. Also, you're gonna need some foil. I'm using one tin of kalaloo, I got one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of fish seasoning. I also got one teaspoon of onion powder. I also got four lovely snapper here that I'm using. Now I've already cleaned up my fish and washed them in some vinegar water. Now I'm just gonna take my hand towel and just pat dry them. Just pat dry them like this guys. Take away the excess water that's on them. Also onto the inside of them, these guys. You don't, want, you don't want your seasoning to stick up on it. You don't have excess water on it guys, just want to pat dry them. Guys, I will get back to you when I'm finished pat drying all of my fish. Yes, guys. Now there you have it guys, I'm finished pat drying all my fish with my hand towel. Now you just want to go ahead and take your knife and make some slit in the side of your fish. Just like that guys. Make two slit and it each side. The reason for these slit guys, you just want to make sure you're seasoned get inside of it. Make sure it's properly seasoned guys. Guys, I'll get back to you when I'm finished slicing all my fish. Now there you have it. That's how you want to slice your fish. So that make your lovely season get inside of it. Just so guys, that's how you want to do it. Now I'm just going to take all my seasoning, my all-purpose, my black pepper, and just throw all of them into one. So guys, garlic powder, onion powder, your paprika, also your all-purpose seasoning. Guys, you just want to get a spoon and just mix up all of those powder seasoning before you season your fish. You're properly mixed out the seasoning together, guys. Just like that. Let's mix that around, guys. Also, I'll be using a, a, a half teaspoon of ginger powder inside of my seasoning just, you just mix that around so you want to mix up your seasonings together guys just like that now you're going to get your fish and start to season them seasoning on your fish just like this guys also in the inside just want to sprinkle it in there and just rubbing your season but be careful of the bones guys when you're rubbing on your seasoning onto your fish you don't want those none of those bones to stick you make sure you sprinkle some into the the slits that you made on your fish Season on it properly. Okay, just going to take the next one. Do the same thing. Sprinkle them on. Just like that. You sprinkle 
some into the inside. Just rub that in, guys. Just rub on the other side too. Rub it inside those slits. I'll get back to you guys when I'm finished sealing up my fish. Now there you have it guys, I'm finished seasoning all the fish. Now I'm just gonna cover this up with my foil. If you don't got foil at home guys, you can use plain thing. I'm just gonna cover this up and leave it to marinate for about 30 minutes before I start. Let's get it, I'll get right back to you. Now in the meanwhile, my fish is marinating with all those lovely powder season that I sprinkle on it. I'm just gonna preheat my pot. Tablespoon of oil. I'm gonna cook up my color now, guys. In the meanwhile, my fish is marinating. You wanna preheat it on medium heat for two to three minutes. This guys, I get right back to you. As you can see, my pot is warm. It's preheated now, guys. Now I'm just gonna start out with my chopped onions. Also, my scotch bonnet pepper. Stir it properly, don't make sure they saute it properly. I'm just going to leave those just to saute for about a minute. Just cover them up. Just guys, I'll get back to you. Onions are sauteed. For that minute, we'll finish sorting. Now I'm just gonna add my carrots in. So add your carrots in. Stir those around. Because so you know the carrots take longer. Now I'm just gonna cover up these again, guys, and leave it for about a minute or two to set it guys get them kind of softish now guys after that many time too checking back on my carrots this guys are looking so lovely smelling so delicious guys I'm telling you now I'm just gonna add my okras in stir those around now Peppers. Now I'm just gonna go in with my color loop. If you got the fresh color loo guys, you can use it, but I couldn't get any fresh color loo, so I have to use a thin one. Guys, this thin color loo is already half cooked, so you don't really have to cook it that long. Let's mix around this color loo with the okra and the carrot. Now there is very thick and onion that you put in here guys. Let's mix around the color loo into it. Guys, I'm just gonna cover this up and leave it for about two to three minutes to cook that one before I turn it off. I'll get back to you guys. Now here you have it guys, after that two to three minutes, my color on my okra and the rest of my stuff that I got in here is all steamed down now. This guys. Guys, I go ahead and add some some fresh thyme. This guys, in your too. Now I'm just gonna add some all-purpose seasoning just to give it some flavor much about half teaspoon guys now I'm just gonna mix it around mix up that all purpose that I just so you wanna do it guys now I'm just gonna leave it now for about the next minute to steam to cook some more with that all purpose 
now here you have it guys after that minute that I just leave it for when I pour my all purpose seasoning now guys it's ready to turn off as you can see it's looking so good guys I'm telling you it's smelling so lovely now let's give this a kiss just guys turn this off now guys I'm just gonna leave it to cool now start to use it into my to stuff my fish with this color this lovely colored one okra i'm just going to leave it to cool guys for about 20 to 25 minutes now guys my fish is finished marinating also my color low is cooled it's time to use my color low and stuff my fish with it guys but before i do that guys i'm just gonna get my foil paper about this size i'm gonna get some butter just grease your oil paper just like this guys make sure you grease it guys if you don't have butter you can also use your cooking oil to do this guys but the reason I'm using my butter is to give my fish that lovely taste and also do not make my fish stick to the foil this guys you have to grease it using the butter guys because it gives it a lovely flavor that fish there you have it guys that's how you want to do it and you're just going to take your fish just like that guys put it in the middle and get a spoon take out your color loop start putting it inside so guys just want to stop it just like that in the meanwhile you're doing this guys you're stuffing your color loop into your fish you want to preheat your oven on gas mark 6 200 degrees celsius this guys you're going to leave your fish in the oven for about 30 minutes to roast now guys after you finish stuffing your fish you know, i'm just going to cover them just like that Just fold the edges just like that. That's all you want to do, guys. And you want to get your baking tray that you're going to put in the oven. I'll just put them in it like that, guys. I'll get back to you when I'm finished stuffing all my fish and show you when I'm putting them in the oven, guys. Now, here you have it, guys. This is my last fish. As you can see, that's how you want to do it, guys. That I'm finished stuffed with my color loop and also seal it to the bone. Yeah, and I'm just gonna fold this up now, guys. So you want to do it? That's like that, guys. And just fold the bottom. That's like that, guys. And fold the next side. Just gonna pop this into my oven that I've already preheated. I'll get right back to you. Show you when I'm putting them in there. Now my oven is preheated and ready for my fish. Just guys, you wanna put them into the middle. And remember guys, you're gonna leave them in there for about 30 minutes. You don't wanna leave them longer because remember it's fish, guys. You don't want them to burn. Fish cook quick, guys. Now my fish are finished roasting, guys. After that 30 minutes, just taking them out. Yes, guys. Now after taking them out of that hot oven, now I'm just gonna leave them here to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before I open these hot foil and show you guys my lovely roast fish. Now, guys, my fish is cool, kind of cool. I'm just gonna take out one and make you guys see what it's looking like. I'm just gonna get on plate. Lovely roast fish, for you guys. Let me see what it's looking like. Guys. Look at that, guys. Wow, it's still kind of warm, but I'm telling you, it's smelling amazing, guys. With all of that lovely 
stuff cut along with okra. This guy's smelling so nice. And have a taste. Guys, wow, it's tasting amazing, guys. It's been so delicious, too. Guys, I hope you want, hope you guys try this one at home. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up in the comment section, guys. Tell me what you think about this roast fish when you try it at home for you and the family. Yes, guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.